Hey guys, welcome back to my channel AG Motion Designs and in today's video, we are going to learn how to create this simple text animation inside of After Effects without using any third-party plugins but with the help of simple and cool tips and tricks inside of After Effects. And if you want to learn more about motion graphics and other stuff in advance, then don't forget to check out my Udemy courses as well. Links are available in the description and you can join my motion pro membership as well which is just for 59 rupees you'll get access to new videos motion graphic tutorials cinema photo tutorials blender tutorials etc etc and it will be a support for this channel as well and if you are new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more tips so without wasting any much more time let's get started <laughs> So here we are in Adobe After Effects, so let's create a new composition and we are going to call it as Main Animation Width, I'm going to choose 1920, Height, I'm going to choose 180 Frame Rate is 30 and Duration is 1 minute long and Background Color is a White Color and simply hit OK Then go to Choose Grid and Guide option and simply hit on Title Selection Then I'm going to select my Text Tool and I'm going to type my Text No over here or instead of that let's type motion select this text and let's remove this stroke and we will add a white color fill and let's uh, adjust the scale or font size and let's uh, reduce the alphabetical distance as well then select this text press ctrl alto go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically and convert this layer into 3d then select this layer press r for rotation to create one keyframe zoom in Go to around 1 second and let's make this 180 degree rotation. Select those keyframe and let's hit F9. Then, uh, if you see this animation, we'll get something like that. Then select this text and hit Ctrl D. And let's change this text and type word design over there. Like that. Over here and select this design text fit you and we will remove this keyframe. And let's add this. Then select those keyframe and go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move this handle over here and let's move this handle over here like that okay so if you check it out this we will get this kind of our animation then somewhere around at this point when this text is changing at this point i am going to select this design word uh, and it should to get replaced at this point so let's select this and move this over here Okay, then go to around one second and I'm going to select this design and I'll make it apparent with this motion text. So let's make it apparent with this motion text like that. So if we check it out this, we will get something like that. And at this point, I'm going to select this motion. I'll press Ctrl Shift D to spread this layer and I'll delete this extra layer. So we will get something like that. Then I'm going to select this design text over here and press R for rotation uh, and let's take a gap of 10 frames over here press R for rotation create one keyframe at Y uh, and let's go to around 1.2.20 frames and let's make this 180 degree rotation again select those keyframe and hit F9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move this handle over here uh, and let's move this handle over here okay so if we check it on this we will get this kind of stuff okay so at this time when this design text is flipping i want motion text should come so let's select this motion text and hit ctrl d and bring this at the top and hit u and let's uh, remove those keyframes like that and then uh, when this design text is gonna flip i want our motion text should come so select this motion text and let's try to bring this over here and let's make it apparent with this design text that the transition should happen somewhere around at this point so i'll bring this motion text over here then select this design and press ctrl shift d and delete it okay like that and increase this duration of this to up to 2.20 frame and hit n over there so if you check it out this animation now we will get this animation continuously in the form of loop okay like that 
and now i'm going to press ctrl y to create one solid background and let's try to bring this downwards right click new and create one uh, camera and uh, angle of view i'm going to choose 110 and hit ok okay and now if you chip it out this when you choose angle of camera like that it's uh, quite getting wider like this okay so you will get you will get that time to do transitions of yours okay so what i'm gonna do i'm going to select all of these layers and i'm going to press ctrl shift c and i'm going to name it as animation and hit ok then go inside this and i'm going to right click in this work area and choose trim comp to work area then go to the main animation hit o to go at the end hit ctrl e and with the help of open square bracket or you can uh, simply move this over here then again hit o and uh, hit n over there like that then or after that right click new and create one adjustment layer then whenever the transition is gonna happen somewhere around at this point i'll uh, let's move this over here and go to the effect and presets panel and search for tint effect and let's swap this color so if you check it out this we will get this kind of a smooth transition and when this is gonna happen uh hit page down button one time and press ctrl shift d and somewhere around at this point i'm going to change this color to red like that then somewhere around at this point uh, when this is gonna happen hit page down button i'll press ctrl shift d and over here i'm going to change the color of this one to purple hit ok and when there is another transition is gonna happen somewhere around at this point press ctrl shift d and let's change this color to black again like that or you can swap this color like that so now if you check it on this we are gonna get this kind of a transition and as you guys can see this transition is so smooth like that so yep this is how you can create this kind of a creative text animation inside of after effects mm -hmm.